Hi guys and welcome to my first uh, video tutorial on my um, YouTube channel. I'm Matteo from Art Sound Recording Studio in Pisa, Italy, and today I'm going to show you two different ways on how to trigger drums in Logic Pro. <clears throat> so let's get started. We have a little drum pattern that I wrote. It's very simple, uh, very straight. So Let's just take a listen. So we notice that overhead sounds pretty good actually, but kick and snare doesn't fix very well. So we want to trigger these two drum tracks. Uh, so we have two possibilities. The first one I'm just going to kick the, the kick drum. Um, the first one is by using uh, some trigger plugins like Dramagog or Steven Slate Trigger. And now I'm going to use Dramagog 5 actually. You basically just insert Dramagog in your <coughs> uh, insert chain, effects chain, and uh, uh, Dramagog will replace the the heat of each uh, drum it with a, a new sample that you can load from your libraries. So uh, let's get a listen without Dramagog and then with Dramagog. So it's really different, really good sounding now. Uh, next thing that we can do, the other possibility in Logic is, for example, if I want to trigger this snare track, what you have to do is select your audio track that you want to trigger and go to this little pop-up menu track and click on drum replacement doubling. By click this, Logic will analyze your audio file and turn every single hit of the snare into MIDI signal, which will be loaded in a new software instrument track. So here you have some options, you just click OK because Logic is in general really precise on on this. So and you as you can see Logic load automatically um, uh, EXS24 sampler with an acoustic kick sample. Uh, but you, f for example, if you go to edit, you just delete everything and go to zone, load multi samples. And for example, you can load, uh, I'm going to my libraries. For example, and load a um, snare sound, so like that. For example, just click add and done. You click OK, and we have our snare. And uh, let's say about snare trigger. And now, when the MIDI notes will be uh, read by the XS24, you will hear your uh, exactly your same track but with another sample. So let's get a listen. So now it's sounding much better. Then you just you know, make levels and stuff, so turn the snare a little bit down. And you've done it. So, hope this tutorial uh, it will be useful for you. See you at, ne at the next video tutorial. If you have some questions or you want um, uh, a specific tutorial just contact me on uh, my youtube channel or leave a comment below uh
it's all for now. Bye.